Come unbox my new Hooven device with me. This one's a Lubelu cordless vacuum cleaner. Quite an unusual brand name, isn't it? I've never heard of it before. Okay, so as you can see, the box is pretty premium looking. It's almost like unboxing an iPhone. So let's lift this up and see what's inside. So we've got the Lubelu instruction manual. We got the Lubelu bristles, little comb and a scissor thing to cut off any hair that may be wrapped around the brush bar. The box is quite short, you know, and that's because the wand is telescopic and it's in its shortest height. Do you know what? That actually is quite a nice wand, you know, I'm not gonna lie. That's a very nice wand. So you've got some screws, that's probably for wall mounting it. Just a basic charger. That's interesting. But yeah, that's like a Dyson dusting brush, but without the Bella strip padding in the middle. And that is a wall mount. I don't know if it's gonna fit the whole Hoover on. This is like one of those luxury biscuit tins where you finish all the biscuits on the top and you think it's finished, but once you lift up this tray, you realize there's more goodies underneath. Ah, cute little baby pleated filter. Now the most exciting part for me is the brush bar. Straight for the brush bar, let's see what it's like. Very, very soft. Second roll, very, very soft as well. They're not even bristles, they're like a felt padding, just like this one. And then the third and final row is, do you know, I don't know if these are actual bristles or very stiff felt padding. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's like one of those knockoff DC35 cleaner heads that you find where the brush bar comes out in this exact same way. Do you know what? Overall, it is pretty much the same design as that. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It's a motorized brush bar and the power rating is 15 watts. That's five watts less than a Dyson V6 animal. This is the battery. Interesting looking thing. The crevice tool. That's actually quite a nice crevice tool, you know. I do like that. And the main character of the show is the handheld vacuum. Let's put the battery in and see if it works. It better be charged. Ooh. Okay, the suction's actually not that bad, you know. That's on me. Oh, wait. I don't have to hold it down. Look, hands me. I love that. <laughs> Pretty good suction, to be honest. Oh, he's not even a button, he just touched it. Wow. Okay, so on low power, that suction is comparable to a Dyson V10 and Mode 1. Maybe even slightly more, but let's just say Dyson V10 and Mode 1, which is about 16 air watts. That's just a rough guess, by the way. Medium power. That's about the same as a Dyson V6 on low power, which is more than a Dyson V8 on low power. And on max mode, it feels like a DC35 or 44 on max mode on the higher setting. Looks like you press this to empty it. That's nice. These seals are not rubber, they're just foam. So this machine consumes 220 watts of power. I'm wondering, however, if that's including the power head or not. I'm trying to figure out how to get this bin off. How do you get it off? You just pulled a slide clone out. So how do you wash the bin? You know, you're not meant to wash the bin actually because look, it's held in with screws. What I like about this is you get a spare filter because when you have one that's being washed here and you're waiting for it to dry, you can still use it and not be without your vacuum because you've got a spare one ready to use. Guys, I just noticed something. This internal hose is one of the cheap looking weak ones where it will definitely split after multiple uses. But does this thing stand upright? It looks like it does. Let's connect the ones together. And then put the vacuum on top. Woo! It stands up. A Dyson can't do that. Look at it. Okay, that's actually got some decent torque. I'm literally trying to hold it with my fingers. Look, I've jammed the brush bar with my fingers and it's still trying to spin. That's impressive. That took a lot before it fully stopped. It's got headlights as well. I love that. I don't really like cheap vacuums normally, but this one's actually quite impressive. And it even has these lights on the top as well, telling you how much battery life you got. And I've just realized there's a purple lever down there. So let's see what that does. So you push down on that. Oh, that's a battery release. It just flings out, look. <laughs> that is wicked. And there's your charging port as well. So yeah, very nice machine. So the way this works, right, is the brush bar spins. As you know, the dirt gets sucked up the tube and then it has only one cyclone where the dirt spins around, gets flung out into the outer walls while the air spinning around then goes to that metal shroud right there. And once the air and the dust goes through there, it gets captured by the pleated HEPA filter. And this filter does appear to have some seals around it, by the way, just some foam seals. And there's a motor impeller right in the top. Okay, now let's try the Lubelu vacuum on real vacuum dirt. 
on a low pile 13 millimeter carpet. Let's see how well it does. Let's start on low power. So that was the result on the lowest setting. As you can see, it has pretty much picked up, I'd say around 70% of the dirt. And it has in fact rubbed a lot of the dirt into the carpet because these bristles are not actual bristles. What they are instead is very soft fibers. Now let's try it on medium mode. Slightly better, but the results are pretty much very similar. Despite medium power having slightly more suction, it's not really made much of a difference. So let's try it on boost mode. Uh, I think we should just empty it though, because the shroud is half clogged. What I like about this, yeah, is unlike a Dyson V10 or newer, you can actually empty this without having to remove the wand like so so it's a bit like a dyson va but obviously because of all that being stuck up in there you can't actually remove the bin so you're going to have to reach up in here and get your hand dirty to be able to remove all the dusty dirt that remains and lurks inside of the bin and the cyclone and then you gotta clean this filter as well it's not badly clogged but yeah there was some fine dust on it what i like about dyson's yeah you'd have to get your hands dusty Right, high power. So what do you think? Which mode did the best? Is there much difference between all three modes? That's the lowest suction setting and that's the highest suction setting. But regardless of the fact that the suction was higher on the highest setting, there is still tons of deep down embedded dirt. Look at all that. Time for a torture test. Let's do medium power. See yeah, how well it comes. Okay, it's actually picked up the huge clump of fluff quite easily, you know, without any issues. And I feel like we are losing suction now, so I'm going to have to empty it out again because we are pretty much full. See all that is stuck in there. Check this out. It holds my hand. biscuits on a hard floor it actually does extremely well with large debris and that has been the lulu cordless vacuum cleaner if you enjoyed this video be sure to like comment and subscribe 
This has been your host, Power786, signing out. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Have a beautiful time.